Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host Ben. It's time for a crypto update, so let's dive in. Bitcoin, since the last crypto update and pretty much the whole crypto market, has actually been holding pretty decently. We last covered it when it was hitting these bottoms, had that double bottom bounce, another push up, and then made a triple bottom. We had this nice big run in the crypto markets. Of course, there's this downtrend that I've drawn, and we have the overall downtrend from the entire chart looking back that we're nowhere close to. But Bitcoin is still climbing up this uptrend, even with the NASDAQ, uh, the stock market, going pretty red today in the U.S. with Federal Reserve news coming of a whole point interest rate hike. And clearly this is affecting all the markets, gold, silver, everything, pretty much down over this past week. Cryptos, though, holding, even though they had this pullback. I mean, they made a nice run up until the 20th and then this week it's just been you know a pullback but it looks very similar to these previous pullbacks we are building higher highs and building higher lows especially if we build a new low here if it can hold this previous resistance of the top of this consolidation and we can see it bounce and try to break that trend line now ethereum on the other hand a little different looking then Bitcoin, it, has, it had sideways consolidation before having this nice breakout. It rejected off of the 1600 area, right around that downtrend and the 1700 that was previous support right back here. So a lot of resistance that Ethereum's got to get through, but it's not even pulled back halfway of this whole rip. So even though a lot of things are pulling back, I'm still feeling pretty good about the altcoin market at the moment. The Cosmos ecosystem, and this is one of the main reasons why, is Adam, beautiful uptrend in this channel. We've had these same downtrends. If I move this downtrend line back here, you can see every single dip followed by that nice bounce, nice rip of break of the downtrend, bounce off of the uptrend. So this one, though, is going to be a very important one, $10, very strong area, natural area of support and resistance, no matter the charting. And that is previous support and resistance through here. We was able to break it, but that was the first attempt. I think we should see a bounce and try to break again. If we don't and it cracks this support line, Adam could come back down this previous dip here around $6. BNB. This one just broke up out of this little triangle that it had and then tested the downtrend, got rejected, same as everything else, but so far bouncing off of this uptrend right here. So if BNB can bounce and you do have this previous resistance, right, all these peaks back here that may try to hold up as support now. So the trend line is there and that support area, pretty much seeing everything come to this final breaking point in the crypto market and if you have been following me i said july was going to get real wonky for all the markets and that seems to be the case if you are one of the adam cosmonauts or cosmos ecosystem followers juno has been on that same uptrend which we just built on juno and released the first framework fortune community project if you get a chance go check that out Digital Land Acquisition DAO, all focused on PTE blockchain gaming, and we will be doing airdrops soon. Link to that in the description below. So Juno having a lot of growth, Adam having some growth, Osmos is still struggling a little bit. Did get a nice little uptrend, but hit that downtrend, got rejected. Still trying to see if that's going to hold. Same thing, could be the tops of these candles that could be new support, that previous resistance or it could drop all the way back down to 75. There has been some action and volume going on in the Osmosis Exchange, as well as proposals happening all the time. Osmosis actually just tweeted out that they are aiming to be the number one decentralized DEX, not just in the Cosmos ecosystem, but of the globe. So that is a big talk coming out of Osmosis. And we'll see if they can live up to it. But they did take quite a bit of the brunt of the Luna UST attack and was able to handle all that volume. 
So, hey, they might not just be blowing smoke. Other ones to keep an eye on in the Cosmos ecosystem, Evemos, relatively new coin, has pulled back right here to this previous support area. Now, there is some high staking rewards on this, so a lot of that supply is coming out. We may see it crack lower. It has cracked. You can see this wick here where that day it dropped all the way down to 80 cents, looking like a head and shoulders pattern. So that one may be one uh, to wait, let some of this supply come out some more. Now, as far as P2E Gaming, you know my main watches, Immutable X, Gods Unchained. Immutable actually broke out of this overall downward channel, but first test, and it hit a dollar and a dollar ten, mainly got rejected at a dollar, pulling back, but sitting right across this new support that I need to draw here that looks like it's holding up. And this is actually a very specific pattern. If we was to take all the other drawings and everything off of here, this is a head, shoulder, another possible shoulder here, inverse head and shoulders pattern. If that's the case, we should see Immutable X break up. That staking is live. And me, I'm holding as much IMX as I can get because I want to keep getting those staking rewards. So Gods Unchained, same thing. Not quite as bullish looking as uh, IMX was, but it really hasn't been doing too much. And that staking is now live. So we're starting to see some nice support build around this 40 cent area and we'll already have it drawn and we're coming to the very tippy point of this downtrend so god's here real soon by the end of this month is either going to break to the upside or pull back down to this 25 cent area but a lot of big things coming out of the god's network and this is a huge since may basically wedge triangle pattern that holds that support boom we got the 200 day all the way up at 150 this is a very low supply token 500 million max but circulating supply is around uh, i believe 75 million last time i checked alluvium if you've been looking at alluvium with because this pte game is coming out soon has big esports potential and backing it has dropped all the way down to 100 again and the staking APR on Alluvium right now, I think, is about 68%, I want to say. And this PT game hasn't even released yet. They have done the land sale, which did great on the Mutable X platform. And those lands are selling for pretty high prices, even in this low crypto market. But Alluvium, if it can hold right there off of 100, which would be the second test of 100, I think we'd see that easily bounce, especially as more stuff comes out on that game. Solana, if you're playing EV.io or The Harvest, or if you started using the Fractal Wallet, maybe you've been seeing the YouTube ads now of Fractal all over the place. Yes, that is all built on Solana. Solana has that same type of uptrend and triangle that Cosmos ecosystem has. Uh, on Adam and Juno. Again, if I move this downtrend back here, you can see every time we have this hard of a pullback, we usually lead with a bounce off of the uptrend. So that is what I'm looking for right here. Now, if you're an Axie Infinity player, Axies has that same triangle, still at 15. The Axie Infinity Origins new game is coming along pretty nicely, and there's plenty of opportunities in Axie, including land staking, to make some consistent revenue generations off of that NFT. So breeding summer event going on as well. Tons of tournaments on community gaming for Axie Infinity, EVIO, uh, Gods Unchained. All these different PDE games right now is the time to be getting in. If you haven't got in yet, get some free tokens from playing and free NFTs on some of the games like Gods Unchained and start building up a little portfolio of NFTs. And then maybe come join the DLA DAO, as that is our main focus, is consistent revenue generating NFTs. And of course, my other main top priority watch out of all the altcoins out there, the only cryptocurrency that matters is PKT. It has been holding this nice support line at that two cents for a while supply has continued to get mined and here soon i will be dropping some new 
videos on PKT on how to add a little bit of extra to that PKT mining so you can get some of this decentralized internet uh, that cannot be turned off that is the goal of this project and I'm pushing it because we need some internet that ain't owned by Amazon and Google anyway at the moment crypto market stock market gold market silver market whatever the market is is all on edge waiting to hear what the US Federal Reserve Jerome Powell what they're going to say with this interest rate hike so we will catch back up in a few days for another crypto update and also I'm going to start doing all the PTE gameplay live later at night and also on twitch so you'll be able to find me there twitch frameworkfortune.tv but let me know your analysis of the crypto markets or whatever coins you're watching down in the comments below appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time